Hello everyone, uh, this is Ori Bloop. Welcome back to another Game Builder Garage tutorial. Um, today, this is a very short, short tutorial. Um, I'm just going to be covering uh, one topic, which is uh, how to make a Pokeball in Game Builder Garage. Um, I know I've had a few people ask this and how to do like the texturing um, for it because it can be a little bit tricky, but um, I'll go ahead and show you guys right now. So um, the very first thing you're going to want to do is uh, we have nothing on our screen, so uh, we can go into the editor and uh, obviously we know the uh, Pokeball is a sphere, so we're going to go to objects and all we need to do is grab a simple object and uh, grab a sphere. So if we go ahead and um, if we go ahead and look in the game, we should see that we have a perfect sphere right there. Um, let me go in the settings actually and mess around with some of the settings. So we're going to turn off destructive, destructible, and for right now we're just going to turn off movable uh, just because we don't need that. So if we go back in the game, we have a textureless uh, sphere. So what we can do is um, I made some textures and I'll, I'll go ahead and show you guys uh, how to apply them properly. So let's just take these over here. So the very first thing that I started with um, when I was making this is I started with the top because I felt like the top um, was is probably the easiest, the top and bottom actually. So if we go ahead and look at the top, um, I'll actually take the top and bottom first. So this is the top and this is the bottom. So if we go ahead and look inside, uh, it's a basic texture, but uh, what we want to make sure is that the texture face is Y plus because we want just this part to be on top of the uh, Pokeball. So if we go ahead and attach that, and if we look in the game, um, we could see that our um, texture is only applied to the very top and you can't really see anything um, else. You know, it's just a, a white object. Um, so if we go ahead and also... Uh, for the bottom now, uh, it is Y negative because this was Y plus, this is Y negative, and we can go ahead and attach that right to the sphere object. Um, I'm not going to show that just because, you know, uh, you guys get the point. Uh, but here is the um, the actual decal or like the, the, you know, the most important part, you know, the most recognizable part, which is the actual uh, opening mechanism for the Pokeball. Um, and the texture face for this is just uh, Z minus because it's only going to appear on one side. So if we go ahead and attach that to our sphere, if we go ahead and look at it now, it only shows up um, just on the front, on the front side. And we can see that our um, things blend right in. So it goes right into the front and, it, and the bottom, you can see um, Y negative goes right here as it's supposed to. Um, and so all we have to do is go back into the editor and since we used all those faces, so this is Y plus, Y negative, and Z minus. If we go ahead and um, look at this texture, it's just basically the black outline going around the entire sphere. And we can see for the texture face that we have X plus, um, Y minus, and uh, just Z plus uh basically checked because we used y plus y negative and z minus already so if we go ahead and attach that directly to the sphere it should fill in the rest of the sphere so if we go ahead and look in the game there we go we have our finished pokeball um it does look a little bit wonky when you look close to it just because you can see that it kind of goes um in inwards and that's just because the way the textures work and um yeah, I don't think there's any specific way to fix that. Um, maybe if you mess around with the textures a little bit more. But if you go a little bit farther away from it, um, it looks really good. Uh, I can show that here. It looks it looks really good if it's far away because you can't really uh, make out the full details. But it looks like a really cool looking Pokeball. Um, and just to mess around with it, uh, I just wanted to go to objects, game screen slash camera. Uh, first person and we're going to grab our right hand and I'm just going to make a grab function just to show you guys how cool this is um, grab just like that and we can go back in the object and make it movable um, but if we go ahead and look back in the game we have our uh, right hand node on and we can actually go ahead and grab this and we can throw it just like a regular uh, pokeball 
And uh, I think that looks really good just because it has uh, the perfect Pokemon, uh, you know, Pokeball uh, detail. So uh, that's pretty much it for the t tutorial. I know it was very short. You know, I just wanted to show you guys uh, for the people that did want to know how to do this. But um, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in another tutorial. Thank you.